Take a deep breath. Relax your body and your mind as much as you can. Take another deep breath. And relax. Now we're gonna do a beautiful collective meditation on the wish fulfilled state. When done with a group of people, this is incredibly powerful. As Ra says, when two or more seek together, they shall far more surely find. I want you to imagine what it would be like. Pretend you're in your house or any house that you're most familiar with, perhaps. Your current whereabouts or if you travel a lot, might be your current Airbnb or hotel even. Or just your house if you have one. So imagine being there, maybe you physically actually are there at this point, but doesn't matter. Enter imagination, let go of the physical reality for a moment and actually step into the imaginative realm within yourself. And at that level, the subtle level, picture yourself in your house. Imagine you stayed at this house for 10 years without leaving in a very pleasant way somehow. Time just fast forwarded, 10 years forward. The whole, the house stayed steady and stable and changeless. For you, it may have just been a day, but the outside world, picture the world outside your house having sped up and 10 years have passed. Maybe even 20 years have passed. Maybe even 30 years have passed in a time span of just a day for you. And now slow down the world again to normal real-time speed. Zoom. Regular speed. And now picture yourself getting up and walking to the door. Turning the doorknob. And just first opening that door, a little crack. You're not seeing anything just yet. You just open the door a little bit. And you just feel this overwhelming sense of light, literally, almost literal light streaming into your house from the outside. It's almost shocking. It's almost overwhelming. Like liquid light streaming through that crack in the door into your house. You don't quite understand what you're experiencing, but you know it feels incredibly blissful releasing, liberating, safe. And you're just getting a whiff of it. You're just getting the breeze of it. And open that door a little bit more and more light comes in. It's even more beautiful, more intense. And then you open the door completely and you don't see anything quite yet out there. It's just white light. It just feels like pure love. And now take your imaginative body and take your first step outside of your door. As you step into the world 30 years later. And the first thing you notice is the brightness of the colors and the sense, most importantly, the sense of that what you're breathing in is love. Like it's all around you. It's no longer, you no longer have to conjure it up from the inside. It's actually entering you from the world. Your body is being inundated, it's being caressed, it's being permeated. Your heart is being opened with absolutely no effort to focus on your own part. You're being opened like a door, your heart's being opened like a door. By this love that is so palpably your environment, it's in the air, it's in the molecules, it's in the ethers, it's in the grass, it's in the ground underneath your feet. The vibration feels completely saturated with love light, safety, transparency, and instantly you have become a transformed being. You stepped into a new world. And what you're feeling right now is total safety. I know it sounds weird coming out of my mouth, this word, but imagine what it would feel like to feel not just mentally or intellectually safe, but physically so relaxed and so safe in the world, out there, in the outer world, that there's literally no distinction between your deepest, most beautiful God meditation 
and looking around with your five senses and seeing birds and hearing sounds and breathing in crystalline air and seeing your neighbors. And it's this overwhelming feeling of thickness, the thickness of the vibration of love and light. It's just overwhelming, like a bath. And instantly you have changed. Something relaxes deep in your gut. Some tension of unsafety completely vanishes. Some element of suspicion and mistrust completely vanishes. You can't hold on to it anymore. You're not stepping into love deliberately. Love is stepping into you and it's removing that guttural sense of insecurity and unsafety. It's just gone. You feel like you're floating in the thickness, like you can fly through the thickness of the love and light that's now the air around you. Like you can literally take off is what it feels like. And maybe in your imagination, why not? Pretend you actually are taking off. The light is thick enough, you can kind of dance on it, kind of float in it, like a bird uses the air. You can direct yourself with your intention, just floating through this liquid love, this liquid light, where there's not a remnant of memory left ever having been harmed or betrayed or traumatized. And more so than that, you feel an absolute certainty in gut, heart, and head and beyond. Your entire aura is felt with an absolute certainty that you can trust and love your fellow men as you would your very own self. And just fly, float around for a bit. Just explore the world or go for a walk or whatever vehicle you're using. And see, as you fly through the streets of your town, maybe in the city, maybe you go higher up a little bit, and you sense this energy, this transformed energy all across the world, where there is deliberate and passionate and free and loving and transparent co-creative efforts everywhere. It's a society of unity. There's no fighting, there's no battles. The borders are starting to become little more than just cultural boundaries where things kind of change, the food kind of changes, but that's about it. Everyone you meet feels like a friend you haven't seen in a thousand years, but you're so delighted to see them again. Every person, every being is a book filled with stories, intricacies, and exotic experiences that are all benign, benevolent, pure of intent. And you literally feel no intention to harm from anyone, no matter where you go around the globe, you can go across the globe, different country. You can go to Ukraine, you can go to China, you can go to the US, you can go to Holland. <laughs> and you can feel <laughs> you can feel the love and the light present even in Holland. <laughs> even in Ukraine. You can have tea with Putin and you have the best dialogue ever about what it was like before the veil, what it was like before the veil of separation dissolved for every human being on this planetary sphere. And you cannot help but love, you cannot help but expand, you cannot help but feel light. Your body feels like it has no pains, no sores, no contractions, no fear, total openness. Your kids are in a sense, everyone's kids. They're still your kids, but everyone is like a parent. Everyone is like a trustworthy shepherd. Every child is learning from every entity. The entire planet has turned into a safe, protected playground. Protected, saved by the love and the light of the one infinite creator, having reached, having reached the zenith where destruction can no longer exist, where lice can no longer exist, where fear and insecurity no longer exist. You are filled with confidence. This light fills you with the confidence that you can create worlds and that you're doing so from a place of love no matter what. Breathe that in. You can literally breathe in the light and it becomes your body. It permeates your cells. You've never felt this great. Your entire body feels relaxed and aligned and in love with everyone. Breathe it in, take a deep breath. Breathe in that reality, come from that reality. Stay true to that reality, no matter the circumstance. But in this world, there are no circumstances that you need to fight anymore because it is now a complete collective outer manifestation of the love that we've been fighting for for so many years that no longer needs to be fought for because there is no opposition to love any longer. There's no opposition to honesty, transparency, honor, integrity, freedom any longer. 
we have become one people. Feel the joy, the bliss, the liberation. That is Shambhala. I feel so blessed and honored to be here with you guys to be able to do this, to have this co-creation. And regardless of what happens in the world, stay true to this vision, this energy, because it is possible. It is realistic. It's the most realistic. It's actually inevitable. We can either accelerate it or decelerate it but it is inevitable. What you just felt and glimpsed is here now. It's available for you. You can be that now. Step into Shambhala as we speak. Thank you very much. I love to you all. Let's come from this state. Don't think of it, think from it. Don't act towards it, act from it. Don't meditate on it, Adam, meditate in it, from it. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love.